Hello? Hi. 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you. What's your name, Bo? It's Constance. Constance, where you calling me from? I am right now working in Houston. Okay, you put the phone down. You gonna get situated? Um, let me see how I can settle this. Hold on. Can you see pretty well there? Yes. Okay. You ready, Constance? How old are you? So I am fifty-two. Fifty-two. Okay. Where are you calling us from? So right now I am working in Houston. Okay. Working in Houston. Constance, 52, working in Houston. What do you do in Houston? What do you do again, baby? So I am an independent claims adjuster. Independent claims adjuster. Yeah. So I'm normally out in the field working. So whenever there's a disaster, then I'm the person that comes and checks your roof, yada, yada, yada. But I decided a few months ago just to work remotely. So that's the reason why I'm here in Houston working remotely. Okay. Oh, do you have any kids, Constance? I have three sons. They are adults. They are 25, 27, and 28. Have you ever been married? Yes. Right. And my and my ex-husband and I had the three children. Okay. When did you get divorced? About 20 years ago. Okay, 20 years ago. 20 mm -hmm. years ago. All right, Constance, 52, Houston. Independent contractor, three has three. Excuse me, three sons was one. Son. <laughs> Almost said three husbands. Child. Not when's three your, husbands. When, when's your birthday? Is zodiac sign? So March the twentieth. So I'm a Pisces. I'm on the cusp between Pisces and Aries. All right, boo. What kind of man are you looking for? So definitely one that is professional, because I'm a professional. Um, I really value education. And I also value um, being able to give back to the community. So I want some someone that's a professional, someone that's hardworking like myself, someone that is well-rounded and has traveled a lot because I, I travel a lot for my living. Um, and someone that um, is definitely God-fearing. Okay. What's some deal breakers? Was, Someone that is doesn't value education. Someone that is complacent. And someone that has a, an issue with a goal-oriented woman. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? Definitely interested in African-American. And I am short, but I like tall men. How short are you? Five one. How tall you want him to be? I like six three and up. You're five one and you want him to be six three? That's what I'm attracted to. Is that what you normally date? Yes. So what's going on with those men? Just because I mean that's what I'm attracted to. I understand. So you say you normally date them, so why hasn't anything progressed? For a variety of reasons. Number one, I've found that in my industry, I travel a lot. So quite often men kind of shy away from women that travel a lot. That's one of that's one of the things is the fact that I travel a lot uh, in my industry. And another is sometimes they're a little intimidated by the amount of money that I make. So that's a that's a concern. Or that's that's been a that's been a concern or a barrier there, like my shirt right here, North Pole. So last year I was in Alaska twice working. So to get someone that's willing to travel to the location that I'm working at, that can be a that can be a that can be difficult. A black man potentially, yeah. Are you only dating? Mm -hmm. You only date black men? I do. Now, let's go to the money part. If you said men are intimidated by the amount of money you make, does the guy got to make a certain amount of money? I would prefer. Like I do. What? And the reason why is because I believe that you should date within your wage. Men don't date within their wage. I think as a woman, and I think it's definitely very different as a woman, um, 
if you, because men are trained to be providers. The majority of them are, especially in my age range. So if I'm making 200,000 and you're making 50,000, that's problematic. But if you're married, isn't like everybody's money your money? So I'm definitely very traditional. And I believe that it is the woman's right or role to be the complement and to be the helper. And I want it to be where I don't have a problem working, but if anything happened to me and I'm unable to work, I know that I'm going to be able to live in the same lifestyle. So I don't, I don't want to be the primary breadwinner. Okay, and I've so, watched your show a lot, and I see that a lot of times when women come on and they say, hey, I make 100000 and I want someone to make the same amount, there's a lot of pushback. But if I'm making over 200000 and I can make in one week what you make in an entire month, that can, be, that can be behind closed doors. That can be a problem. Well, let me, let, let's clear some things up because – I, I get this a lot when people say push back, um, saddle. That's never that. I'm giving you what's what's available, right? So I always have a lot of women that do re really well financially, right? So mm -hmm. let's say I have 100 girls that make $100,000 or more, right? And then I have two black men, two, that make the amount of money these 100 girls make, also are tall that you requested, you know, handsome. Mathematically speaking, all 100 women just would not be able to get a guy if they base it off of those two men. Isn't that a fair mathematical equation? But I also think that it is very fair um, to number one, not expect a woman to be solely responsible for paying all of the bills. I mean, well, here's the deal. You have the right to have your dynamic and what you desire, right? So if that's what you desire, I will give you no pushback on that. But on the flip side, I will just share stories of women who make maybe more than their husbands and have a great life, you know, because they, they don't look at their husband because he made less than me, therefore he wasn't valuable enough to be my husband. There were other qualities that mattered more. And um, I always like celebrities because that's just who we know. But we can name several women celebrities who are extremely wealthy, who married men, who just were not on their same financial level and live happy companionship family lives. So if you don't desire that, that's fine, right? I'm not saying you have to bend in that area, but... I think this is why I've been trying to get so many married women to call my show because they're like, my money is his money. We don't, we don't have those power struggles. Like, and then sometimes, you know, God just blesses us in different ways. I know that I am blessed beyond measure in certain ways. And, and, and I understand that. So if you want a man that has, we didn't get to the number. How much does he have to make for you? Well, I believe that it should be in my wage. The number that I gave is that I'm over 200 and he's at 50,000. That's a huge gap. So it needs to be someone that's... So what is your you know, minimum and, that you would consider? So it, the minimum would probably be about 100 and that's and that's half of my that's half of my salary. Okay. I, that's listen, half. But, listen. but yeah, but mhm. Mm so, and that's the guy you said you normally date this guy, 100K? No, no. I mean, so in my industry, as claims adjusters, there are others are in my industry that make what I make. I've, I've dated attorneys. I mean, so there are African-American men out here that do make. Oh, absolutely. Over I, I yeah, they they do, yeah, they do. And I mean, there's a variety of reasons by the reason why we may not have clicked. Okay. Um, but for me personally, no, I would not be interested in someone who made less than a hundred thousand. I wouldn't because for a variety of reasons, like I don't want to be in a situation where I buy something and then, you know, he's looking at me funny because I feel like if I work hard, I should be able to play hard and spend my money like I want to. So but I don't, I don't want to, you can do whatever you, you want to do, right? I guess mm -hmm. what we're talking about is 
you having a partner in life. So I, my, my blanket question is this, whenever, because I can tell you are steadfast in your desires and I'm not going to sway you. I, listen, I'm not going to try to sway you. You're 52 years old. You know what you want. You older than me. You know, I guess my question is, if you could not find a guy, do you want to get married again? I do want to get married okay. again. So, yes, and so I, saw, know, I just have a curious mm -hmm. question. Did your ex-husband meet all these requirements? So my ex-husband was over 20 years ago. So I'm at a different point in my life. So when I met my, so, and that's part of the reason why as you get older, okay, you start realizing what's important to you. And one thing, like I said, is if there's ever a point in my life when I'm not able to work, then I want to make sure that I'm safe and secure. I don't want cars repossessed. I don't want to be evicted. I don't want that struggle luck. And like I said, I'm very traditional. I believe that the man is supposed to be the head of the house and the woman is supposed to be the complement. So when I got married, I was in my early 20s, very early 20s. I was a stay-at-home mom and I was a complement and I raised my children, okay? So no, he didn't make 200,000. I didn't make that amount. I went to undergrad, I went to grad, I have my master's. I'm older in life. So what I want is to be equally yoked. And that's not equally yoked if someone, if the woman is making considerably more than the man. And at my age, whoever it is that I'm with, he should be stable. He should not be struggling financially. There's plenty of men that are your age that are not struggling financially. The question is, are they gonna sign up for what you want them to sign up for? I think these men, I know these men exist. The, that, that's not, that's not the, the question. The question is the man you're describing, is he ready to sign up for what you want to sign up for? So I say this to say, if you don't get the guy that makes 100K, that's 6'3", if you can't find that person, are you okay with just not getting married again and just living life the way you currently live it? And there's nothing wrong with not being married again. I See, I've that. Been, right, I've been married, okay, and I've had children. Right. So there are women who've never been married before and who've never had children. Absolutely. I've done that. So am I comfortable with my life? Yes, I am. Do I travel? A lot. Yes, I do. Am I able to go out to dinner with men? Yes. Am I able to have sex with men? Yes. And I'm also able to go into my home and close my door and have peace. Okay. So well, I'm good. Yeah, so I'm good matters. whether I get, whether I get married again or not. That's not going to be the end of the world. Because marriage is not your goal. You just want to align your life with a man of these categories. No, marriage is my goal. Oh. But what I'm not going to do is settle and be unhappy just for the sake of saying that I'm married. I agree with that 1,000%. All right, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. I don't even know. Can you put the phone, you can put the phone down and walk backwards and then we can see you. Okay. Hold on. I have my computer. I'm working from home, so my computer is my face. Okay. Okay. Can you see? We see you, boo. Oh, you got a booty. Uh, <laughs> Wait, turn back around. You don't got to keep it in our face. Uh, and I have a chest, too. Oh, uh, yeah, she got a booty and a chest. And a All chest. Right. So, Kat says you was once married. When did you get divorced again? I don't remember. Oh, uh, okay, about, so it was a long time ago. Like about maybe 16 years ago. 16, okay, wait, yeah. not 16, about 18 years ago. I don't remember. Okay. It's a long time. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship? Um, like actual relationship? During the time of COVID. So, it was like 20. 2020, about 20 a couple years ago. Okay, you don't have mm -hmm. to answer, but when was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. I guess, do, do you want to answer? You laughing like you want to tell me something. Oh, I'm a Pisces, so I guess I won't answer. Okay, why do you think you're single, Constance? Well, like I said, because, number one, because I travel a lot and just spent a lot of focus, spent a lot of time with my children and spent a lot of time developing my career. 
So I guess I'm at a point right now where I'm like, okay, I am where I'm, you know, my kids are grown, they're stable, and I'm where I want to be career-wise. Okay. So. And then why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, I mean, if he's the right one, he would know, number one, that I bring the qualities to the table that a wife is supposed to bring as far as what Proverbs says that a wife is supposed to bring as far as being nurturing, being resourceful, knowing how to cook, clean, manage a home. You know, I bring that. Um, and then in addition to that, you know, I am also, if anything ever happens to him, I could pick up the pieces financially. Can't that go so mm -hmm. both ways? Like, God forbid something can happen to you. I mean, that's why I said if, if something happens to him, then I could carry the slack. And then, okay, I see what you're saying. So you're saying if something happens, period, you don't want to conform to any lifestyle other than the one you currently live. And that's why you really want a guy that's within your salary bracket so you could just have that safety. Correct. But on the other hand, if something happens to him, then I'm educated enough, I'm secure enough in my career that I could carry the load. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it, Constance. Oh, what's the age range you would say? You're 52. Um, I would say between 40 and 60. 40 and 60. All right. Mm -hmm. um, she's a Pisces. She's in Houston. Do you want to be in Houston? No. 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 You doesn't have to be because you travel a lot, you said? I do. I do. Okay. All right. She's an independent contractor, three sons, 25, 27, 28. She was once married. All of her sons are by your ex-husband, correct? Correct. Okay. She, um, last week she was 2020. All right, let's do it. And then, okay, must-haves. Are now, are these must-haves or non-negotiables? You correct me. He must be over <laughs> six feet. Yeah, he, well, he must be over six feet. He must be over six feet. I, pre I prefer six, three and taller. Her preference really is 6'3". She will settle for six feet. <laughs> and you say you normally date, so you normally date the six feet 100K guy, right? Yes. And then, and yes. so I'm just, and what was the reason again why you guys don't go the distance? I mean, for a variety of reasons. I mean, we get in, I mean, everyone doesn't, I believe as a, as a Pisces that you need to find someone that you're definitely compatible with. So I want someone that, we mesh, you know, I mean, you meet them and some of them are spiritual or they're agnostic and I'm religious or they have an addiction and I'm, I'm not interested in that. So it's a whole screening process. Or like I said, they are just not comfortable with a woman that travels. Yeah. The one you, you broke like up with the person, uh, you said your last relationship was 2020, right? Right. How long were you guys together for? Um, less, well, about mm, nine months. And he was, was recent, he was recently widowed. Uh, he was an educator. And he was, you know, I guess he hadn't completely gotten over, which is understandable, the death of his wife. And he was 6'3 and made over 100K? He was six. And between being an educator and the other job he had, yes, he okay. had right at uh, Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, listen, girl, listen, I, I want to keep me updated. I want to see how it goes. Give them your <laughs> Facebook page, honey. It's Constance Love. Constance Love. She's in Houston. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in Houston. She likes to travel. 52. She'll date between 40 to 60. All right, boo. Thank you for coming on the pop-up morning after show. All right. Thank you. Bye, baby.